68, scoring three in that last jam. We are going into jam number 11 after this timeout with 15, a little, little under 16 minutes left on the clock. Did you know that by the age 14, girls are dropping out of sports at twice the rate of boys? That's a shame. Yeah. We, we think roller derby can help that. Learn more at girlsontrackfoundation.org. So discussion between referees, captains, and coaches right now. Strong female character, outstanding NSO, also in the center of that. I know her from my Chicago outfit days. Aww. So yeah, maybe we introduce ourselves at this point. So I'm Kent Smith, aka Kent the Politician. Call for Burning River Roller Derby in Cleveland and Chicago outfit. You are? I am Electra Blue from Texas Roller Girls. Calling for Texas Roller Girls and for the WFTDA. Oh yeah, AFTDA, no, you're, you're as do you. You're legendary. Should we should we mention that you designed the track? that we're currently skating on? You can, but then I would be very embarrassed. Okay, well then, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please know that the person who designed the oval may or may not be announcing next to me, <laughs> but she does not want to be embarrassed. Bobby Narco, our snap producer, quick on the uh, posted notes, announces for Ithaca and Hudson Valley and some team called Gatham, <laughs> based out of New York City. <laughs> Not sure who that is, Got but them. but we hope they become a very good roller derby team. In the meantime, Torture is out there for Norway, and Torture has secured lead jammer position. Number 765 for Poland, Sneaker Freaker, picking up a penalty. So, oh no, sorry, that was uh, that was a, a call for Norway. So four points on the board for Norway, and that last minute call off. So 72 points. 30 for Poland. Now, considering the West Indies as their mutual opponent and the point discrepancies right. between the two, we are starting to see now, uh, you know, a little bit of why we had such a discrepancy for that, those two teams. Yeah, yeah. Norway's, Norway's been very good. They've only not scored in the very first jam of the bout, Electra. Now a track cut, and that sends the Polish jammer that is Jedkiewicz to the penalty box, so it is a power jam for Wienberg for Norway. Wienberg headed into the pack, the pack moving into the back straightaway. Wienberg colliding with the Polish defenses, has to recycle back. Skaters going out all over the place, but Wienberg coming around the turn three, picking up those five points. As the pack resets, Norway with their Wienberg. pyramid formation in the back. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Wienberg found the, uh, we could see the inside line coming into turn three, turn four, and she executed the pass nicely. All right, so 77 now for Norway as they pick up another three on that last pass. So again, you're sorry, 80 points, sorry, total. They're a little slow putting the scores up for us. I apologize. So that is 80 points now total for Norway, 30 for Team Poland. Team Poland not scoring for the last three gems. So, yeah, you're watching Poland in black, Norway in red, 30 to 80, 13 minutes, 28 seconds remaining. And then that's Norway, Rocky Gold getting lead, but right on her heels is Katrina Sverko for Poland. The penalty box empty at the moment. Rocky Gold trying to dance her way through the pack. Calls it off. I think Sverko, oh, no points awarded to Poland. Sverko is in the pack, but I guess hadn't passed any opponents at that point. So now 83 for Norway, Poland with 34 gems without scoring for Poland. Four on four in the pack as we line back up with Nina Nunchucks for Poland, and that is Una. Yep. Nituzen, which means 9,000. So that it's is her Una, last name and her number. Una 9,000. Una 9,000 jamming for Norway and is through. Successfully secures lead jammer position. Norway sheds a blocker. 
Poland's Nina Numchucks comes through. And so both jammers on a scoring pass and Una quickly secures four points and calls it off. So that is now six jams without Poland scoring. 87 Norway, Poland with 30, 12 in this first half left. They got two, it's not six jams in a row. They got two in that jam. So 30 for Poland in black, 87 for Norway in red. 11 minutes, 47 seconds remaining in the first half. Torture will be jamming against Sneaker Freaker. Uh, Sneaker Freaker is the Polish jammer. Torture the Norwegian jammer. And Torture able to find daylight as she heads into turn one, turn two, and now into the front straightaway on her first scoring pass. Torture hits the Polish pack very hard, not able to split the arms, still trying to fight through two to beat for Torture. Sneaker Freaker still trying to make the initial pass. So five more points for Norway. Torture, your lead jammer. As we cross the 11 minute mark here in the first half. Okay, it's a multiplayer block for Ida for Norway, so pack advantage for Poland. Let's see if they can regroup here. Sneaker Freaker pulled back again. Sneaker Freaker yet to make the initial, so Torture with 10 points so far on this jam, and this is her third scoring pass. Locked down against the line of Polish defenders. You got Savitsky, number 727, holding that brace. Torture goes down, comes back up. Little nut, little bump to the inside. Yeah, Bo is doing a nice job. And a track cut on Torture. So it is a power jam and Sneaker Freaker with 28 seconds remaining in the jam finally escapes the pack. But now she's got a power jam opportunity for Poland. And Bo's going into the penalty box for a direction of play penalty. So we have pack advantage for Poland with a three wall brace in the back. This power jam coming at a very opportune time. Poland had not scored since the 1550 mark. Those are the first points in six minutes. So Poland able to put break the little curse there for Poland putting five points on. We have a timeout. Do we? For Poland. Yes. Sucker Punch Skate Shop as Europe's original derby owned and devoted skate shop. Sucker Punch is dedicated to helping you with honest advice to find exactly what you need and more. Our technical know-how and expertise is unrivaled as is our availability of your favorite gear and the fast shipping we offer throughout your Europe. Visit us at SuckerPunchSkateShop.com. We'd also like to thank Roller Derby Elite. Make your mom proud. Wear Roller Derby Elite. Would, your, would your mom be proud? Yes, yes, my, my she mother. would. All mothers would be proud. We'd also like to thank Double Threat Skates. Double Threat Skates, expert advice from experienced staff. Head to doublethreatskates.co.uk. All right, so nine minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the first half. At about the 22 minute mark, it was 31 for Norway and 20 for Poland. Obviously, since that time, it's gone 79 to 15, Electra. So Norway, while their jammer is in the penalty box at the moment, as we get underway, their jammers have had an awful lot of success out there on the track. That's right. So a uh, new jammer out there, jamming unopposed. MK. M MK. For MK. Skating for Old Ricky. In, oh, there you go. In real life. And your lead jammer. So there we go. Uh, out of the penalty box though, torture hot on Emka's heels. So let's see if she will force that call or if Emka's gonna try to rely on her pack to get her through. Emka into the pack as is torture. Emka attempted to call it off. All right, referee saw it, called it off, but three to three. So Emka, that was her first jam of this game. Fortunately, that call 
was uh, yep, not as successful because it was a 3-3. So we have 38 now for Poland, 1-0-3 for Norway. Eight minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Poland in black, Norway in red. Got Sverko taking on, I believe that's number 81, Ricky Tiki. I think that's the first time she's jammed. It is for Norway. So Norway mixing it up a little bit with some different jammers as we go into the last 10 minutes of this game. Your lead jammer is Sverko for Team Poland. As the action is at turn two. Oh, we have a five point jam for Sverko. All right, so Poland has scored points the last three jams, this one included. Poland losing a blocker, that is Dixon. For a forearm penalty. Oh, that is Bratwurst slash Dixon. All right, star passed to the pivot for Norway. As Ida Lindgra. What you said is now the skater of record for Norway. Sverko calls it off, Sverko calls it off. But again, so points being scored for three jams in a row. All right, so 48 now for Team Poland. 10 points on that last jam for Poland. 103 for Norway, not scoring in that last pass as we line back up. Again, Poland in the black. That is Nina Nunchucks as the jammer and Wienberg for Norway. We have one Polish blocker almost done with her penalty. And Norway, oh, Wienberg goes out. Oh yeah, skating out of bounds, I believe the call. So we have a power jam now for Poland. They did pretty well on their last power jam, let's see. This is the first scoreless jam. That was the first scoreless jam for Norway since jam number six. So Poland kind of getting regrouped here, having a power jam opportunity with Nina Nunchucks in control. Nina sneaking through the inside. Oh, as uh, Fatal Feline tried to knock her out, but Nina shaking it off, getting another five for Poland. We have two jammers back. Wienberg is back in the pack. Yeah, um, Norway had pushed it out to 100 to 35. And, you know, so Poland's on a bit of a run right now. Good for them. 8-0 on that jam. Five minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the first half. So Poland with a 20 point to three lead. So a 17 point advantage picking up in those last couple of jams as they shook off their uh, non-scoring run and are putting scores back on. Sneaker Freaker, your lead jammer for Poland. Yep, Rocky Gold with star in hand is gonna take a second attempt at the pass for, uh, at the pack for Norway. But yeah, Sneaker Freaker now re-entering on a scoring pass, her first one. That's four lead jams in a row for Poland. Turn two with the pack action right now as we have a star pass for your pivot. Now taking the star that is number 12, Lingra. Edna Lingra. Ida Lingra. I'm sorry out there. We're trying with these Polish and Norwegian names. We are doing our best. We have our... Our little and, cheat sheet notes, but. And now a timeout taken by Norway, which again, the timeout taken at the 940 mark by Poland really sprung the Polish team. Uh, Norway's only scored three points since that timeout, whereas Poland has scored 30, Electra. So perhaps timeouts are critical in the sport of roller derby. I, I think, well, and it's all clock management as well. So timeouts um, used in this way is actually working in their favor. So cheese ball, precision skate bearings, the original hand prepared skate bearing available in house at the quad skate shop booth or online. Yeah. 
and how about, Pivot Star? How about Pivot Star? How about Pivot Star? Pivot Star UK is here for you. Top quality derby wear with flawless design. Tops, tanks, shorts, leggings, and our world famous hoodies alongside stylish sublimated uniforms. Visit Pivot Star UK stall today. Alternative athletic, awesome. Awesome. So, um, as we wind down this timeout, it looks like Norway putting out a new jammer. That is Jadkowitz. No, no, no. That's the that's the Polish jammer. Polish. Yeah. yeah. Number six, yeah. Poland Jadkowitz. She's jammed before. We've got Una jamming for Norway. Una's taken the star before. So a forearm penalty sends uh, Savitsky to the penalty box. So four on three pack advantage for Norway. And Norway picking up lead gem, breaking the lead gem spell that Poland had on them. Again, Norway in red, Poland in black. That is a forearm penalty for number 47, Jollywood in, for Norway. As Una tries an apex jump, but a little knot to the inside, having to recycle behind the pack. That is Emka at the back of the pack for Poland. Good rotation there by Una, able to free herself from the Polish defenders and put points on the board. And we have a star pass now for Poland. That is Zawitski. Zawitski who began this jam in the penalty box and is now wearing the star and scoring points and picks up two for Poland on that second pass. Savitsky skating for Minnesota when she's not at the World Cup. <laughs> so now 12 points on that last jam for Norway, now with 115, two points for Poland, and now at 67 as we go into jam number 21 with just a little over three minutes left in this first half. So what we've learned is timeouts work. Timeouts Because when work. your team takes a timeout, and this is an official's timeout, uh, points being clarified. I think another point's going to go on the board for Norway. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Another point's probably going to go on the board for Poland. There it does. There we go. So now, yep, as you see the ref pointing to their fingers, making sure you pick up that. And, uh, you know, of course, our officials doing a lot of hard work. There's 197 of them, I believe, this weekend. Uh, their locker room can attest to that. I've been there. <laughs> Rocky gold jamming for Norway. Katrina Sverko for Poland. And your lead jammer goes to Rocky gold. We have a player for each team going to the penalty box. Less than three minutes remaining in the first half. Again, Poland in black, Norway in red. Initial pass completed by the Polish jammer, the Sferko. Rocky Gold points on the board for Norway. Almost skated out of bounds as she was looking at the coach. Stayed in bounds, called off the jam. Oh, Sferko. She looked at it, the coach, it was a, she called it too, too slow, yep. unfortunately. Yep. So 4-4. Uh, so 72 for Poland, 119 for Norway. Again, yeah. pack awareness, very important. She saw the call, questioned it, and a little too late, Poland just uh, minimizing that uh, score. So Poland has never led. We were tied after the second jam, and Norway has had a lead since then. Looking to add to that is number 79, Torture, for Norway. And that is Imka for Poland. As you see in our, on your screen, all of the action right here, right before turn number one, as both blockers rejoin the pack, killing those penalties. We have a, the pivot for Norway in the penalty box, and no pass, no penalty for Emka, so a lead jab opportunity still for Torture. Right you are, Electra, and, and Torture gets through, oh, not given has, lead jam designation. Well, because she has her star, oh, yeah, right. in, her star hand. in hand. Star in hand. So we're going to go the full two minutes for this jam. Again, pack awareness, very important. She probably did not realize that the other right. jammer did not get lead. So there we go. Four points for Emka for Poland. Answered by... Only one player to get by, that is uh, Mikulik in the front. Yeah, Torture having a... And Mikulik picking up a forearm penalty, trying to block Torture. The out of play 
blocking penalty will send Whiskey Chaser to the box. So two Polish blockers in the box. The uh, period clock, nine seconds ahead of the jam clock. So this could be the last jam. Depends on somebody else wants to use a timeout. And Torture getting around the outside here at turn four. Picks up another four as both jammers are in oh. position. A huge apex jump for Torture. Picks up at five points there as Emka is still not able to break through this wall of all four Norwegian blockers at the back of the team. Right, back of the pack, sorry. Right, no, 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 you're right. Now we've got uh, Polish uh, reinforcements arriving from the penalty box. So now we are at full strength, four to four. But yeah, Torture was really able to capitalize on the depleted Polish pack. Absolutely. A huge jam for Norway. Official review being requested. So we'll get one more jam in. Official review being requested by Norway, if I'm reading the referee signals correctly. So as of now, unless something changes, 19 points picked up for Norway on that last jam. Again, we went all two minutes. We had no lead jammer. Eight points for Poland. So we'll see if the official review changes any of those times and, the, and those scores. In the meantime, let's thank Ravel Contact Wear. It, Ravel is the leading tech performance equipment for women in contact sports. The Ravelia, a bust and shoulders protection for women, was awarded at ISPO, the world's largest sports and innovation fair in the world. So that was the biggest jam of the contest at 19 points. Um, what's interesting, Electra, is um, Poland has yet to register a double-digit scoring jam. Norway's got three, four, that one being the fourth. I oh, know, did we have one? Yes, ten points, so just barely. Well, 10 points and, counts. Yep, there it jam, is. And jam number 17. Thank yep. you, Bobby Narco. Yep. That's why we have a producer, just to check our math, because we're trying to talk and do math at the same time. And that's not always easy. Oh, it's easy. Oh, it's come just on. not easy for me. So a low block penalty just as the jam ended for one of the Polish players. So perhaps that was the official review. Yes, Ferco able to put 10 points up on the board during that run, uh, during one jam, during that run when they came out of their timeout. We're hoping to get some clarification on the official review. If not, we'll just make something up. <laughs> <laughs> now here he comes. So Bobby Narco is going to get the uh, skinny on that as I, uh, let's, let's take another one of our sponsors here. Well, Nina. actually, let's not because Nina. that is the official review over. So Nana versus Weinberg with four seconds remaining in the first half. 80 for Poland in black, 138 for Norway in red. Neither jammer able to find daylight as the period clock has expired. We have bonus rollers every time. And uh, Weinberg is through and Wienberg is the lead jammer for Norway. See how long Norway chooses to run this. So that official review, Norway wanted to call a forearm penalty on that jammer, but the no call stands and that's where we are. Nena able to escape the pack. Wienberg on a scoring pass and calls it off. <laughs> so a quick 4-0, yep, to end the half. That'll take us to Poland with 80, Norway with 142. On day three of World Cup 2018 version. All right, so a lot of exciting stuff in that first half. A little bit of uh, penalty trouble for both teams. So we saw Jammer Lees going back and forth. The timeouts really mattered. The timeouts really do matter. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. You're seeing the two teams huddle in their respective benches. In the foreground of that shot is Norway in red. The background of that shot is Poland in black. Our score currently at halftime, 80 for Poland, 142 for Norway. We're about two minutes and 10 seconds away from halftime being over. I'm Kent Smith, a.k.a. Kent the Politician. He actually is a politician, right by the you, way. Right you are, Electra and uh, joined for not only the first half call, but thankfully the second half call as well. I came back. By Electra Blue. 
And then we've got Barry Narco keeping us in line over here. Yeah, yeah, totally keeping us in line. Short leash with that guy. That's right. So some fun things from the first half. We have Poland has had 10 lead jams, Norway with 12, and we had one jam with no lead at all. Yep. Penalty-wise? Uh, jam, well, jammer penalties, one for Poland, uh, two for Norway. Star passes, uh, two for Poland, three for Norway. And so far, number 12 for Norway taking those stars. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. Ida Lingra as Lingra. your pivot. So there we go. So th that is that. That's the Norwegian bench that you see on your screen. Number 77, Wienberg, the skater on your right. Uh, Wienberg has uh, had some success jamming, as has um, Rocky Gold. Rocky Gold with two of the four double-digit scoring jams for Norway. Torture with one and uh, Torture with two. So those have been, uh, and that's been a little bit of the story of this, is Norway has had the ability to explode offensively uh, a little more frequently than Poland, as I misstated and was corrected. I said Poland had no double-digit scoring jams in the first half. That was not correct. They had a 10-point jam. And again, we saw in the first half the timeouts seemed to matter, meaning when the teams have used the timeout, they have huddled up, come up with some th bit of strategy that seems to have worked. Poland's most effective run was from uh, the 940 mark down to the 450 mark, where they outscored Norway 30 to three. So the margin being 52 points right now, I'm sorry, 62 points right now. That's some, that's some good math there, Ken. Clearly within Poland's reach when final 30 minutes to go. Absolutely. So here we are lined up, four on four in the pack. We've got Nina Nunchucks and Una for Norway. Una 9000. Una 9000. Mituzen. I learned a new word. <laughs> and nu Nina, sorry, Una. Una comes through. Una comes yeah. through as your lead jam. Nina also threw Una with, uh, headed into the pack and quickly navigates the Polish line of defenses and calls it off. So Mikulik went to the penalty box for Poland. That was your pivot and your captain as well is in the penalty box. So we're going to start jam number two. Yeah. With Norway with a little pack advantage. Yeah, four, four to two, sorry, four to two pack advantage for the skaters in red, that is Norway. You see Wienberg lined up against, I think that's Sferko. Sferko. It, it is. Wienberg takes an outside line and finds daylight headed into turn one, turn two. So Sferko with all four players at the back right. of the pack there. We had uh, Banana Assassin trying to come in there and break it up a little bit, so releasing uh, Katrina Sverko, but Wienberg calling it off. Quick four points. Hit it and quit it. We're going to do a couple of short point jams for Norway. Yeah. 150 to 80. That's nice, easy math. 70 point lead for Norway. There you go. Torture coming back out, wearing the star for Norway, and that is Sneaker Freaker wearing the star for Poland. Again, a depleted pack for Poland. Three to two pack advantage for Norway. We'd like to thank Rollline. Rollline is the tailored gear to fit your needs. So Torture quickly around the outside as her pack doing a good job holding back the two Polish blockers. We looks like we have a star pass. No, it was a star stash. So Sneaker Freak are still maintaining the star. Torture, your lead jammer for Norway. Torture pushed out in the back straightaway. I'm sorry, in uh, the uh, outside of turns two and one and two, able to secure three points for Norway. So another hit it and quit it jam, get the points, call it off. As we line back up with, Ni uh, with Una Nituzen. And Emka. I love these names. <laughs> Again, apologies out there. We right. are doing our best. We are only, we are merely Americans <laughs> trying these difficult names. 
So Una engaging with the Polish blockers there at the start at the pivot line. Emka also trying to navigate the pack. Neither jammer able to escape, and Emka comes through. First lead jam for Poland in the second half. However, Una is hot on her heels, going to try to force that call for Emka. We'll see if Emka tries to get in there and get that point as the Norwegian. Oh, she Una. Una sneaking through the inside, picking up those points. Yeah, track cut to Susie Hot Dog. That is the Norwegian defender, but yeah, it is Una who found the inside line, put points on the board. So Emka trying to stop the bleeding there. Calls it off, Calls yeah. it off, but so a 4-4. So no advantage for either team on yeah. that last round. Yeah, exactly. Good job by both jammers. M Emka getting lead jam for the first time, but Una with the, the, the steal, you know, and then forcing Emka to call it off. That's right. So Poland now 84, 157 for Norway as we go into this next jam with pack advantage for Poland, four on three as your pivot for Norway in the penalty box. That is fatal. Wienberg for Norway. And Polish jammer is Nina. That's right. And your lead jammer, though, is Wienberg for Norway. But, of course, Nina hot on her heels. Very quickly, Vina goes into the pack. I'm sorry. Yeah, Nina goes into the pack and goes down. Wienberg fighting her way in the back straight away. Track cut called on the Nina. Polish jammer. Yep. So we have a power jam now for Norway. I think uh, Wienberg's getting the message from her bench. Poland also loses a blocker, so four to three pack advantage for Norway. That's a whiskey chaser that went into the penalty box, so now pack advantage for Ooh. Norway and the power jam for Norway. It's right you are, Elektra. So turn four, all four Norwegian blockers. So this will likely be our first banana assassin. This is our first double digit scoring jam of the second half for either team. Wienberg battling around at the straightaway. The pack is spread out. Referees are trying to tell everybody the pack is over here. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Yeah, good, good job by the Polish defenders, you know, minimizing the damage on that power jam. But, uh, yeah, Wienberg with 15 so far on this jam, and she calls it off. So coming out of the penalty box and putting two points on the board for Poland. So now Poland 86. 18 point jam for Norway on that power jam, 175. So uh, we will line back up here. That is number 79, Torture for Norway. And then crouching real low, that is Katrina Svirko. And uh, turn one, seeing a little action here as the pack is spread out, forcing a reset. Sverko taking off her jammer star. Your lead jammer is torture for Norway. We had a forearm penalty yep. on the Polish captain. Yeah, Poland rotating blockers in and out of the box. The star stash help gets, helps Sverko. to get Sverko through. And torture calls it off. So what? Torture picking up another four, so a total of eight points in that jam. Let me thank Blood and Thunder, whose belief is life is better on roller skates. You can visit them at bloodandthundermag.com for roller derby-inspired apparel. Also, Roller Derby Shirt Club. Get a different shirt for a different roller derby league from around the world every month, join Roller Derby Shirt Club at rollerderbyshirtclub.com. Sneaker Freaker, your jammer for Poland, getting knocked to the inside by number 12. That is Ida Lingra. So a reset behind there. Still no lead jam as Rocky Gold battles with the three pack up at the front of turn one. And she is through your lead jammer, Rocky Gold for Norway. Sneaker with a nice hop, able to get through the pack, but Rocky Gold 
quickly dissects the pack and calls it off. Norway doing a lot of very quick 4-0 hit it and quit it jams. That's right. And I mean, it's working for them. You can't, it's, that's certainly not criticism. It's just seems like, you know, it, they're just very tight. We're gonna get a lot of jams in if this pace continues. Well, there's short point games and long point games. And you right. just have to know when to use them. As the whistle was going there at the end, uh, we lost our Polish pivot. So we're gonna start this next jam. It is uh, Norway's on a 41 to six run. 41 to six run since halftime. And as Una is your lead jammer. So. Yeah, the uh, Polish jammer is Emka and she is still held up in the pack. Una with five so far and going for more. Emka now gets through the pack. So both jammers on a scoring pass, but that is Una with nine and calls it off. And Savitsky joined the pack at the last minute there, but not enough to help her blocker. So Team Poland not scoring on that last pass. Zero run for them, nine points for Norway. So Norway now 192, Poland 86. And that was jam number eight. So already quick eight jams in this period. Yeah, and so we're, we're just over nine minutes in. And again, it's 50 to six in favor of Norway in the second half. No, and yeah, Norway's st style has been hit fast, hit hard, and That's call right. it off. Well, they've got the lead already, so all they have to do is maintain it. We're getting a lot of jams in this second half already, though. So Torture is your jammer for Norway. Nina Nunchucks for Poland. Both jammers battling their respective packs. We have full complement of skaters, but Norway winning the race with Torture is your lead jammer. So pack, sorry, turn one with the huddle here yeah. as Torture sneaks through that inside line. Her her pack doing an excellent job opening up that line for her. We have a looks like a star pass. Yeah, uh, Zavitsky, if I if my eyes do not deceive my, is the pivot and is now the jammer for Poland. Torture with five points so far has lead jam designation, taken off her skates and calls off the jam just as. Whiskey Chaser booted her hard <laughs> into the inside there, forcing that call. Not uh, not such a short point though, eight points for Norway. So now they're even Steven 286 for Poland. Norway has led throughout this contest. Norway in red, Poland in black. We were tied after the second jam. And now, uh, and Norway, and since that time, Norway has continued. I think that was your brother. It looks exactly like you. Yes. Can't. Rocky Gold, your jammer for Norway. Katrina Svirko for Poland. So we've got a battle, but the winner is Rocky Gold, Norway. Your lead jammer, Katrina Svirko, still. Struggling, she has her star off her head. It looks like she's gonna try to do a star pass. The pivot is sitting right up front there. So five points there for Rocky Gold, the Norwegian jammer wearing number 52. Down so, goes Rocky. She gets back up. So I'm not sure, that didn't look like that was a successful star pass, so. Sverko maintains uh, the jammer status. Yeah, four on three pack advantage for Norway. Rocky Gold taking advantage. The star now passed in the hand. There it is. Uh, she was looking for that star pass. Mikulik now the jammer for Poland. But not quick enough, unfortunately. Norway picking up a 15 point jam with a little struggle for the Polish jammer and a star pass. So 215 now, Norway 86, Poland. Yeah, we've had 10 jams so far and Poland has only scored in two of them, whereas uh, Norway has tallied points in every jam so far in the second half. 
So each of these teams has fielded six different jammers throughout this game. That's interesting. Which is definitely interesting. Sometimes we see three and four jammer rotations. The, so two, the two jammers in this jam, Sneaker Freaker and Una, and Sneaker Freaker comes through. So that's a sign of life for the Polish offense. Una with star in hand and handed it under Very, the pack. Yes, I, yeah. I saw that sneaky, happening. I don't, I don't think exactly that. I don't think uh, Poland, saw it, Poland yeah. saw it so well. So that is Edna Lindgra. Uh, forgiveness asked for that <laughs> pronunciation. But Edna is now the jammer of record and is tallying points for Norway. I do believe it's Ida. Uh, please, yeah, feel free. All right, so. Yeah, Ida. I added an N to her first name, I'm sorry. So let's see. Okay, so Team Norway did pick up six points. Team Poland sneaking in four. So now at 90 for Poland, 221 for Norway as we go into jam number 12. So a little longer jams, the last few. We were started off, like you said, with Norway with a hit it and quit it. Quick four points, but we've had some longer runs here. So now Wienberg jamming for Norway, Volger Ver for, for Poland. Poland. Yeah, this is the second time Volger Ver has jammed again. I saw the Poland bout against Japan and Volger Ver was in the rotation. So Volger Ver is experienced in jamming, but this is Wienberg who is out in front and having success in this jam. Volger Ver still held up. Volger Ver with two to beat. Wienberg and harvesting points for Norway. Fatal feline for a forearm penalty for Norway, so. And follow, oh, and then we have a Dixon going to the penalty box at that last whistle as well. Sweet80.com, where you can get awesome brands including Punky Pins, Ball Bags, American Socks, Suzu, and branded apparel. A portion of profits from all seals, sales through Sweet80.com are donated to the Claire Lawrence Foundation to fund brain cancer charities. Sweet80.com, wear, roll, give. That was a bit of a mouthful. Some of these reads are a little long, so nicely done. <laughs> sneaking that one in. That torture jamming for Norway. Emka jamming for Poland. Three on three in the pack. Held up at the jammer line, but... Our, oh no, we track have a cut. track cut for torture. So we have a lead jam and power jam opportunity for Poland. Let's see if they can capitalize on this. Poland down a blocker as this jam began. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's three to three in the pack. So they're not down a blocker. And Emka able to get through and does get lead jam designation for Poland. Both blockers for each team rejoin the pack. So four on four with no jammer for Norway. Around the outside were five points is Emka. As the rest of the pack is held up at turn one, we do have number 1205. That is Brett Wurst, i.e. or Dixon for London Roller Girls in the penalty box, your captain for Team Poland. A star stash for Torture as she comes around the outside in her scoring position, hitting the back of the pack at turn one. And she is able to sneak three on. Team Poland was in control of that jam, not calling it off quickly enough, however. Eight points for Poland, three for Norway. So a five point lead for Poland on that jam. 98 for Poland, Team Norway with 228. So again, the second half score at this point, 86 for Norway, 18 for Poland. And we're underway with Una going up against, that is Nina Numchucks. Numchucks. And your lead jammer is Una for Norway. Nina Numchucks, star in hand. I don't know if she's looking for a star pass. She is, so we have a new jammer for Poland. And that is number 111. That is Mikulik. Mikulik. Una with the call off after putting points on the board. 
We'd like to thank Strong Athletic. Strong mm -hmm. Athletic believes that every human has the right to celebrate their strength, play sports, be active, and find their power, speak their voice, and be seen. Strongathletic.com. All right, so what do we got here? Looks like we have one Polish blocker in the penalty box. And so four, three pack advantage. Our jammers are Katrina Sverko for Poland, a rocky gold for Norway. Nice, easy name to pronounce, but it is Sverko who is our winner, our lead jammer for Poland. As we cross the 12 minute mark, again, you're watching Norway in red and a back block penalty on rocky gold. So Sverko and Poland in black and Sverko called it off having escaped, trying to do the 4-0 quick call off not realizing she had a power jam. Obviously, Poland will still have the power jam start. Again, Sverko, yes, she looked very frustrated, not realizing that, uh, yeah, there was that call off. Again, pack awareness, very important. Of course, you know, easy for me to say is I can see it all very easily from here at my oh, yeah, yeah. lofty stand at the announcer booth. But again, they do get to start with a power jam. And uh, there's also uh, one the pivot is also in the penalty box for Norway, so they are down a player, as is Poland. Uh, as, as I said, that Lynette Zurich is out in the pack. And our lead jammer, Sneaker Freaker for Poland. Yeah, good jump by Sneaker Freaker, able to clear the pack there in turn one, turn two. So that last jam was our first scoreless jam this half of this game. <laughs> it's mayhem over here at the announcer's table. Post-its are going Post -it everywhere. Post-it notes are everywhere. Rocky Gold is out of the box, so we'll see if she's able to find some success. And she does. Able to get up on the toe stops to escape on the initial pass. Sneaker Freaker trying to put more points on the board. Calls off the jam, so we'll see that. So, Emka... As she's skating off for her uh, direction of play penalty, it looks like she was talking to her bench and looking for an official review, and she is got it, so we're going to have a team timeout. As we look for our sponsor reads. Kaya Skates. Kaya Skates, quad roller skates, plates and accessories for roller derby, lifestyle, park skating, and dance. It's time, kaya-brand.com. And then uh, we'd like to also thank RollerCon. RollerCon is uh one of the great sponsors of the Roller Derby World Cup, and we appreciate all of their support. All right. All right, so the time out over. Maybe just looking for a little time to regroup here as Poland was kind of getting a little penalty trouble there. Sometimes you just need to shake it off, move on. Poland, Pol I'm sorry, Poland's found their offense as of late. Um, Again, they're on a 20 to, uh, well, uh, 20 to 32, still in favor of Norway, but uh, Norway had gotten out to a very quick start here in the second half. That's right, Volger Ver is your jammer for Poland. Torture is your jammer for Norway. And as I said, her name, she got lead jam. And we have a uh, power jam for Norway as Volger Ver goes to the penalty box. I did not see the call, so maybe we can get. Yeah, so a power jam opportunity for torture. Torture was able to put two double-digit scoring jams up in the first half. So we'll, we'll see if she's able to do that here as well. We do have a uh, blocker in the box for Poland, so pack advantages for Norway, and is as is the power jam. The pack is at turn two at the moment. Only one player to get by. A little attempt from uh, Savitsky to knock out Torture. Torture shaking it off around for another five. Volgerver pushed out on the inside. She has star in hand and finds daylight through the outside. So Volgerver is through on her initial 
Torture stays in bounds, able to get by a whiskey chaser. So Benny Kill for Norway in the penalty box for a forearm penalty. As Torture calls off that jam, picks up another four for a total of 14 points for that last jam. Zero for Poland, so Norway doing some long point scoring in the second half now. 246 to 106, and we looks like we are going to have a team timeout called by Poland. So Norway out of timeouts. Yeah, they still retain their official review, but yes, Norway out of timeouts. Well, with Norway with 240, uh, 246 to 106 lead, that's 140 points. They don't necessarily need that last timeout. Sometimes you need that last timeout if you're trying to buy yourself another jam in that last few moments of the game. So again, they have their official review that they can still use as a timeout should they choose to. In this case, Poland still, still has one more timeout, which we may see them use in the last final moments of the game. So we would like to thank uh, Sea Shepherd. Sea Shepherd does some really great work in terms of uh, ocean protection. So we would encourage you to use the Google to gather more information about Sea Shepherd. They're one of our Roller Derby World Cup sponsors and we're glad to partner with them as they do fantastic work and of course these are all these sponsors are on the roller derby world cup website oh look at this we have nina nunchucks is your lead jammer for poland Wienberg hot on her heels for norway four on three in the pack in favor of poland as the pack is spread out between turns one and turns one and two as nina calls it off So yeah, points, three points there for Nina and Poland. So 109, the total for Poland in black, 246 for Norway in red. Poland coming out ahead in that last jam. Norway not putting up a score. So Poland was two and one coming into this bout and uh, Norway was 0 and three. They had both lost to the West Indies, but Norway had had some tougher bouts taking on Finland and Australia. Obviously, it looks like Norway is going to secure their first victory here at the uh, 2018 Roller Derby World Cup. Rocky Gold, one of the reasons for that, and she is the jammer of record. And Rocky Gold finds Daylight and is the lead jammer for Norway. Pack spread out between turn one and two as Katrina Spirko does find her opening and on her initial pass and scoring pass. However, Rocky Gold in charge sees Katrina around the corner, calls it, puts up a quick three, and we have a direction of play penalty on number 933, that is Bose yep. for Norway. So yeah, it'll be four on three, pack advantage for Poland once we get underway. Ricky Tiki coming out for Norway. I think that's the second time she's jammed in the contest, first time in the second half, going up against Sneaker Freaker. One Sneak, oh, sneaker I'm, Freaker with a little uh, toe stop action, keeping her legs warm as she's sneaking through the inside. Yes, she does. Oh, uh, holds it nice. by the hair of her tippy tippy toes to make the lead jam happen for Poland. Ricky Tiki has to recycle behind the pack and got crunched by Zurich. So she does have her helmet cover in her hand as if she's going to pass it off. Yes, she does. We have a new jammer for Norway. That is Hemmer. That is Hemmer, yes. And the quick call off, the star pass forces the call off. So three points there for Sneaker and Poland. So now 112 for Poland, 249 for Norway as we go into jam number 21 with just a little over six minutes left in this game. So just a, a quick hit it and quit it call for Poland. Norway doing a good job with the star pass, recouping, forcing that call, keeping the point differential on the low side. We'd also like to thank Quad Skate Shop. Quad Skate Shop, totally awesome at the roller derbies, and you should find out more information on their website. Again, and also the, all of these sponsors are listed on the Roller Derby World Cup com website they uh, have a lot of these sponsors have booths in the vendor village here 
It's a very exciting, huge tournament here. Four tracks of continuous gameplay all weekend long, of course, as these teams yep. uh, go through the weekend. We are going to see fewer and fewer games. This morning's games um, are all done by the rankings from yesterday, and then there's going to be a break today while we reassess the numbers uh, and try to find out where people are in terms of rankings, and then we will post the schedule online as, as they come up. So we've got Nina versus... Um, Torture, six minutes, four seconds remaining in the contest. And looks like we've got a player, two players for Poland in the penalty box, one for Norway, and your lead jammer is Torture for Norway. Nina Nunchucks out, hot on her heels. So you also see Roberts on her jersey. She is one yep. and the same. Nina Nunchucks is Roberts. They are not two different people. Thankfully, they both wear the same number. Thankfully so. And the same color uniform, that's always helpful. So, Nina Nunchucks picking up four points, answering. At, oh, no, she, okay, Torture calling it off, stopping the bleeding there. She only picked up three, yes. So, losing the first four points, but Stopping the bleeding a little bit. Only a one-point lead for Poland in that last jam. So now Poland with 116. Team Norway with 252. As we go into jam number 22, it's five minutes left in this game. Sverko taking on Wienberg. Looks like it is a three-on-three -three pack. Both teams with one skater in the penalty box. That is correct. Oh, around the Sverko. outside. Shaking off any block. Sverko is your lead jammer, but Wienberg also threw. So let's see what Sverko does here. Is she going to try to do a, oh, she sneaks through the inside again, calls it. She does call it. She does pick up all four, but not quick enough. Quick-footed Wienberg picks up two for Norway. And looks like we're going to have a timeout. Is this an official review? Yeah, the official review requested by Norway. I, it looks like they're using it as a timeout because they're you know, aren't in conversation with the referees or NSOs. So yeah, Norway using the official timeout as, I'm sorry, the official review as a timeout. Which we talked about earlier. They yep. have only one official review left. They could use it however they want. They're gonna choose to kind of regroup here, take a moment again. That They have a pretty substantial lead. So they're just trying to burn time off of this clock, maintain that lead as the Polish team has a little bit of a dance routine. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, you can. <laughs> we have a, a, a little dance off happening here. So coming up on this track is Spain versus Czechoslovakia. We are at four minutes, 25 seconds remaining uh, in this contest. Again, Poland in black. Poland came in as uh, with two wins, one loss. Norway came into this bout um, winless, losing to Australia, Finland, and West Indies. So Norway will secure their first victory of the 2018 Roller Derby World Cup. As our dancing jammer sneaker freaker hops along, along the jammer line for Poland. Una jamming. And, and Una jamming for them. They're uh, flashing on the screen that, that sneaker is the lead jammer, but we have not established lead jammer yet, so I'm going to ignore that screen. Yes. Now, however, she is the lead jammer. Well, there we go. Maybe that was a little subliminal message. Maybe, yeah. Maybe the NSOs actually <laughs> understand. Hey, have some. That you become the NSO because you have talent. That's you right. Know, you, can, the, you can foresee the future. Exactly. Excellent. So turn number three with the pack action here as Sneaker Freaker sneaking again through the outside. Not so sneaky, actually, because Norway is <laughs> trying to hold her back. Una also uh, looking for that inside line, and she does. So Una does pick up some points, as Sneaker Freaker calls it, but not soon enough. 4-4 four, four for each team, so a zero advantage there. 124 now for Poland, 258 for Norway. Jam 23 that was, uh, this uh, second half. Yeah, a lot of action lot in terms more of action. the jams. Exactly, longer jams. So, um, let's see, the penalty box looks like we have one player for Poland standing up. 
Nina Numchuk's jamming against number 52. That is Rocky Gold. Rocky Gold is through and is the lead jammer. Nina taken off her skates, has to recycle back, and Rocky Gold already scoring points. We're only 13 seconds into this jam, and Rocky's putting points on the board. The pivot goes to the box for Norway. Direction of gameplay, that call, and Rocky Gold goes around through turn two and puts five up on the board. It looks like the pivot for Poland has the jammer star in her hand. Yep. She does, so we have a new jammer now. That is number 1205, Gretwurst, i.e. Dixon, also playing for the London Roller Girls, the new Rock jammer for Poland. Sorry, Rocky Gold taking off her skates and calls off the jam from her bottom. Well, you got to do it somehow, right? She's, she's had a very effective game. She can do whatever she wants. Exactly. And, and has been able to do whatever she wants. And, and has, and did put eight points on the board for that jam. So 266 now Norway, 124 for Team Poland. So we line back up here. Looks like Poland is down two blockers, as is Norway, but one of them is standing, so less than 10 seconds in her penalty. So two on two in the pack as we go in with Katrina Sverko for Poland and Torture for Norway and your lead jammer for Norway. Sverko hot on her heels, however, so we'll see if Torture does a quick hit it and quit it call. Yeah, the pack sets up in turn two and now moving into the back straightaway. Torture escapes the pack. Sferko is called for a penalty. Back block call on Sferko. So it is a power jam. One minute, 15 seconds left in the game. More time left on the jam clock. Norway can't stop the clock any longer. Poland can. So this might be the final jam of the bout. Tough to say. I had to say uh, that was a lot of patience shown by Torture. She was relying on her pack. To, uh, to to help her out there, and they actually did. They they forced a track cut call. So forearm penalty sends uh, the captain uh, Fatal fi uh, Feline to um, Nor uh, to the penalty box. And that is number thirty one Hemmer for Norway on a direction of play penalty. So two players for Norway in the penalty box. Uh, go out in her scoring pass. Right you are, Electra. So yeah, Torture looks like she's gonna try to run as much clock as she can. She clearly could call it off if she wanted to. Well, and of course the jam, the period only with 13, or counting down yeah. nine seconds, the jam clock with 20 seconds. So it looks like Torture is just gonna continue skating until oh, and the she, period is over. And she called it off with time left on the clock. And Poland, in theory, could have called it off, but I don't believe they did. That's a little surprising. If you're going to run the clock, you run the clock all the way down. But it worked. Regardless, Team Norway with the victory. That's right. And that was a big jam for Norway, actually. 19 sure was. points on that last jam. Again, she had the time. All she needed, they had the lead. All they needed to do was run down the clock, which you did see her do. 285 is the unofficial score for Norway. 131 for Poland. They did score seven on that last one. Yes, final score. It is official. Poland 131, Team Norway 285. So, yeah, you see in the foreground uh, the hugs for Team Norway. Their first As, victory. Yep, exactly. They, they have won their first bout. And it's a good one to win here. This is uh, this is yep. th these are the, the games that count for this weekend too. Right. So we're going to see more of Team Norway. Uh, again, we're going to reassess all the scores, the score differentials, find out where people are, and uh, we'll find out when they're going to be playing, whether it's later today or possibly tomorrow. So Norway again led throughout the bout. We were tied after the first jam, tied after the second jam, and at that, from the third jam on, it was all Norway. Um, and I think it was their defense in, in a large part because um, Poland never exploded for any sort of really consistent, strong offense, whereas uh, Wienberg, Torture, and Rocky Gold really helped secure, uh, and Una really helped secure a strong jammer rotation. Uh, and again, good uh, uh, information provided by Bobby Narco that both teams used six jammers, which is a little unusual. 
but that was the way they played it and worked for Norway. It did work. So for Poland, we had uh, lead jams uh, seven, Norway was 17. Star passes for Poland, there was three, Norway with one. And uh, jammer penalties were two each. Now that's in the second half. Right. So uh, Norway had 17 out of 24 lead jams in the second half when they really, you know, put this uh, bout away as compared to 12 out of 22, where it was a little more evenly, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was a tighter first half than it was the second half. That's right, Poland a little more jammer, penalty trouble in the second half, but pretty clean still, you know, yes. considering yeah, yeah. how many jams we did get in this right. game. Right, right. So there we go, we're gonna have all the high fives all around. Uh, Y'all stay tuned, there is more roller derby on this track. We are on... Spain versus Czechoslovakia coming up on this track. And this is the Rainy City Roller Derby track, track number four.